All right, YouTube, in this video, I'm going to try to provide some degree of proof, hopefully, <laughs> that you can take the alternator off a, um, like a um, third generation four torus with a dual overhead cam without having to remove any tie rod ends, you know, any of the um, CV joint axle. What you got to do first is you got to just take the serpentine belt off. That's too dark. And um, I'm going to try to show you how to do it. And explain it, but I gotta put the phone down first. Okay, um, hopefully, you guys get a good view from that angle. I think you do. Okay, so you've got the alternator all disconnected and everything. And uh, crap, this light's gonna get in my way. So, hopefully, you guys can still try to get it so you can see, see it pretty good here, hopefully. And you gotta take the whole alternator. Because you're not going to be able to just pull it out. That's the fun part of it. you got to get a hold of it. Get all your crap out. As fun as that is. And now you have the alternator. And you can push it back up. Take some wiggle in. And you turn it over on its side. And then eventually invert it. And it will pull right out. Just a little, little tug here. We're almost there. And out we go. That's that. Okay, so to walk you through it here, the alternator is bolted on in this position here. What you do once you have it unbolted is you let it fall. And you were able to turn it almost immediately like that. Okay, then you pull down and out. Okay, you don't have to spend time messing with the CV joint axle or nothing. You can get it out real easy. Now, I have um, come up with a way to make getting the old finger off a lot easier for somebody who doesn't have a whole mechanics set of tools. Um, Right now, I want to show you guys a little trick I did. I just have to find something here. Give me one second. Okay. Um, okay. You see this bolt here? These three bolts are nuts, I should say. I added on, and, and they're not stock. The stock bolt is this. It's an 18 millimeter, and it's really hard to get to and it's really thin so with the way the alternator is you can't even get a wrench like this you know like with a little ratcheting wrench you know see what I mean you can't even get it on there so you have to use you know this side of the wrench here and go like turn then flip the wrench around and it takes forever when I when you add these on you can actually put a socket over it, or you can use, these are 13 millimeter bolts, um, or nuts I should say, get a wrench like this with the ratchet, and it'll fit on there. And that'll save you tons of time. Um, of course, when you first take it off, you won't be able to do it. Well, you might be able to reach down and get these on there, but this idea saved me. Um, a mechanic, you know, like a, like a freelance mechanic, said it would take six hours to change the alternator. I got the alternator off of the car and pulled out in less than 30 minutes with, with these little modifications, serpentine belt, and figuring out how to jostle it out of there. So any Taurus owners out there, hopefully this will help you. Um, update is I had some faulty wiring and my Mechman alternator blew up. Um, I sent it back and they said that they would cover one blow up, blowing up alternator, even if it's user error, which just says, you know, everything about Mechman as a company. You know, even I screw up, and they're, like, you know, willing to stand behind their product, unlike some people. Um, so, um, there you go. If you own a Taurus like this, I mean, hopefully you got the single overhead cam, and it's not a problem. But you own a Taurus like this, that's how you get the alternator off. It's not hard at all. You just got to flip it and do exactly what I said.